Hi guys, Brian Armitrout again with the Food Leadership Group, talking on the fourth subject of my four-part series on things that I'm noticing out there that companies are overlooking or not paying attention to relative to the Food Safety Modernization Act. Topic four for our discussion today is biosecurity. Now really this is expanded within the definition of what FDA is looking for under FSMA and they're calling it food defense which means they're looking for more than just what are you doing to secure your facility, walls, fences, doors, employee screening, and things of this nature. What are you actively doing within your systems to make sure that if someone is deliberately trying to harm your products and therefore our consumers, how can you take active steps to mitigate that disgruntled person? Now, first tip on this is, and this is a tool that I use quite a bit, is on FDA's website, if you do a search on this, there's a thing called the FDA Food Defense Plan Builder. It's an excellent tool that runs you through this and allows you to look at your systems and see what those potential vulnerabilities are. Now, like the other topics that we've gone over here in our discussions around foreign supplier verification, quality systems, and recall, don't think of this just in terms of your plants. Think of this in terms of corporate. Actions can happen in corporate too that can have a very detrimental effect as well. So look at this holistically and evaluate how do your systems work. So if you have these type of issues, this is going to overlap into your crisis system. So how do you communicate those? FDA is going to be looking for a written program. So how do you go through and mitigate and manage those risks? What programs do you have in place? Once again, plan, do, check, act is a very valuable tool of how you need to look at these things. So what's your plan? How do you evaluate it? How do you correct issues when you find them? And how do you reassess that when changes have happened within your systems? So FDA is going to want to review that program. Keep in mind, once again, anything that falls within the scope of your Food Safety Modernization Act, harp seed compliance plan, your preventative controls, is fair game for FDA to look at under the law. And they can take it with them. So write these programs in a way that don't reveal things within your plan so that you would consider proprietary. Because these things under the Freedom of Information Act could potentially become available to the general market and that defeats the entire purpose of having a food defense plan. So create this thing in such a way where you have a generic system that can be shared, that gives you overview of how you do things, and then more confidential details. Once you explain this to FDA, they will respect that and they will not undermine your program by putting this information out there and putting your company at risk. So within your plan itself, you need to have those actionable levels. What are your high risk areas? How are you mitigating those things? How do you monitor those? And just like everything else within this, how are you training people? And training is not just something that you do verbally, you have to document that. And that's an important thing with Food Safety Modernization Act overall, is if you didn't document it, and I'm sure you've heard this from other people too, if you didn't document it, you didn't do it. So make sure and document those things. So once again, glad to help out. Got a quick link on here, schedule a 30 minute chat with me. Any questions relative to your food defense plan, happy to take a look. Once again, Brian Armitrout, Food Leadership Group. Have a great day.